Hey there, my little butterbug. Welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Chief Empress Healing Flower, aka Journey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. So glad you're here. So let's see what this reading we have for the collective. Also, if you're new, I do readings every week. And I also have a sister channel if you want more at Air and Fire Oracle over there too. So let's get into it. Let's see what your message is. First, I'd like to thank my mama, my papa, my spiritual parents who protect and guide me. I am a powerhouse on my own with my parents. Look out. And, my, and, and of course, my ancestors, angels and guides. All right, so let's get into it. What's the message to spirit? What's their message for the seer? All right, seer, let's see what I'm doing. Okay. The giver. Let's see where this is going. So your overall energy is the giver. Huh? And I heard, I just heard, he that giveth taketh away. Woo, that's pretty strong. Okay. He that giveth taketh away. I feel like somebody was toying with something in the past, um, but they don't want to do it anymore. They don't want to toy with something anymore. And I apologize. I was not ready. And that's on me, though. I should have had this deck ready. My apologies. I was not ready. I thought I was, but I just realized I was missing a deck. Okay, so, no worries. We will continue on. You will please forgive me. appreciate you. So, give it and take it away. Okay. So, something. Let's see. All right, sweet spirit, where are you going with this? Give it and take it away. is going but let's get another one there's definitely a bird in here i feel like something got removed or taken away or someone is aware of something being taken away and it is burdening the heck out of them it could be you or it could be something of ownership or they could be losing a home or something that created stability for them, as I say that, and pull the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it looks like they're still trying to hold on, though. Hmm. What's going on with this? Yeah, somebody's losing their stability. They could have been well-known in their community. And I feel like the community sees, though, the people around them or the community or people close to them who've known them. Because I feel like an energy of like, yeah, I'm this and I'm that and I own this and I own that and I wear the latest to this and I wear the latest to that. And now, though, it looks like it's being removed. And I feel like the most high is taking it away. God, source, he, she, or whatever you believe in, because, again, we heard... I give it and I take it away. So something that somebody was trying to hang is trying to hang on to something. Okay, let's keep going. And it's burdening them knowing that they are losing this. So we got a king of pentacles. So it could be. Hmm. Give me a second. I 
feel like somebody, this is the person that took something. Did a Capricorn take something or somebody of authority take something? Yeah, this is somebody who has some type of power. They could be very knowledgeable. They have rulership. I don't know what they have rulership over though. But they rule also, I feel like, with an iron fist, meaning that they don't play. This could be the law from somebody. I heard law, even though that's not a law card, but that's what I heard. So I feel like this person, this is an authority figure who they could be spiritual, spiritualist, they could be, um, said making something known exposing something exposing some type of truth let me see something real quick bear with me one moment please forgive me but I want to see I'm trying to get my mind to trigger something for this. Give me a minute. Mm -mm. I appreciate being so patient. You can certainly forward if you need to. Part of me wants to say something is being exposed. Poured out. Poured out and being seen. Let me clarify. This one's got me a little bit. I have to say. Yeah, I feel like there's something bringing, being brought forth. But peacefully? Okay, child. This, this one got me. This one got me. And every now and then. Let me clarify on that. Clarify this star card, please. Tell, clarify this. What is, what is this? What are you talking about, Sweet Spirit? What is this? is like I don't know just just something and it's funny because this bird is in here I never paid attention to this bird before 
What is that, a pelican? Hold up. I'm so sorry. Let me stop apologizing. Women apologize to me a lot. Never saw that darn thing before. Oh, a Christian temple? Hold up, let's see what else. Ooh, pelican crossing your path? I never heard of that. I never heard of that. A messenger, okay, I know, because that's birds and messengers, but this is different. Oh, wow. So is this person putting their self on the line or career on the line to expose some truth? Because I feel like this is you, though. I do feel like this is your energy. Someone is trying to sacrifice themselves for you to help you. To bring you some type of success in something. This one had this person has some type of authority though. And I say that because his iron boot is sticking out very clearly to me. <coughs> this go round. And all of a sudden I have to cough. So this man may be speaking up some speaking on something for you. What the hell? Yeah, I feel like an energy of like there's a lot of people involved in this in your situation and they may they're speaking up they see something's not right what are they speaking about that was fast this they're telling on looks like three people some people that are um Careless and false. So I just felt that this person feels like they were lied to, manipulated, or they 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 told a lie. Like these people are not who they say they are, and they know who you are. And I feel like someone, okay. Don't get triggered, okay? Because I know some people will get triggered by this. But I feel like this person wanted to say something before or there was something that was seen that this person saw and they knew it wasn't right. This could have been taken care of already. But I don't know if somebody was paid off or this person was paid off. But now they see something is just wrong. And I'm, I'm feeling wrong, wrong, wrong. They feel like this is wrong. And I feel like the most I is using this person. That's why that pelican is there. Someone also, you might get some hope soon about this. I don't know. It could be, I don't know how it's going to come, but you're going to get some type of hope regarding your situation. If you're dealing with something where someone is trying to um, withhold something. Let's see. What is this King of Pentacles fighting for? What is this King of Pentacles fighting for? What is it the King of Pentacles is fighting for? 
crazy. And I feel it like it's just a lot of <sighs> okie doke. A contract. What is this King of Pentacles fighting for? An agreement? What is this King of Pentacles fighting for? High Priestess. There's something they want, they want to get communicated to you for sure. Some type of commitment. Because they too are. I, I guess I want to say they just they don't feel like what's taking place is right. I really feel like the most high is moving on this person's heart. And I feel like this person does have some type of either kinship to you or they feel bad for you because this is just unfair. Something is unfair because they see you as like somebody that they would like to work with. If you're a feminine, they find you attractive also. They find you very smart. They feel you very um, intuitive and you're very um, uh, they, they highly respect you. Give me a moment and I'll tell you where this chariot is going. I feel like this King of Pentacles is so frustrated. He's just frustrated with the whole thing. Like what's, what's going on here? Somebody's just frustrated with the whole situation. Five of Wands. This is a very complicated read today, Seer. I'm not even going to lie. Perhaps that's the whole reason. It could be the energy, though, too. We got some tough energies going through this week. It could be clouding some things. And I know there's a lot of energy out there where people are doing some crazy stuff to block stuff. I feel like this person's defending you though. They're upset that this is happening, even if you guys don't have any type of connection. There are some good people still in the world. And I feel like this person is trying to move you out of a situation here. There's a lot of like blocks and I feel like, but this man is smart enough to know that that's what's happening. He's a fighter is what I'm hearing. This person's fighting for you. Yeah, because it's about a gift. That's what this is. This is, this is, listen, whoever this is, there's more going on to this piece than you think. There's a lot of payoffs here happening. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Cause I feel a lot of people scrambling a lot. There's a lot, there's people here who got a lot to lose. At least the, yeah, they feel like they've got a lot to lose by anything being exposed. But here's the thing though. Again, the most I said, I giveth and I taketh away.
somebody is definitely losing out of some type of connection with you, whether it's family, business, or whatever. Someone knows that you know something's going on, that something's being held that is yours. This person is trying to move it to you, though. There's somebody trying to help you to get it to you. They know what is going on. But they also know that um, they're constantly being blocked. They're very clear what's going on here. This person, they may be new to it, or maybe they're not, but they do know there's something energetically that is happening here. Clarify that five of wands, please. Yeah, I just saw that. Yeah. It's Ace of Pentacles. This is something nobody wants to get out. They don't want this to get out. Because if it does, I mean, it means a lot of... One thing I do know, this is where they're at. Whether they want to admit it or not, this is where it's at. And that's, I'm hearing clearly, that's where it's going to stay. They're not going to get any for, further. They're, they'll just... If they choose, they can just stay like this the rest of their life. But either way, they're going to be moved out the way. Yeah, I'm here cleared out. Mm. That's what this fighting is about. That's what all this fighting is about. It's about this. It's about not going to... For somebody, not going to prison. For somebody, it's not going away permanently. Because if what I think is going on, which I think it is, there's a lot of energy work going on here. And they know that if you were to win in their eyes, because you didn't know you were battling anybody, that means they lose and they got to suffer the consequences. And so... They can't afford for this to happen. But whether they want it to happen or not, things must take place. Things must balance out. 22, 44 on the clock. Things must balance out, especially if you are standing 10 toes down and you're like, uh, yeah, no. I'm not going to sit here and entertain this foolishness. Hmm. So it's not just one person you're dealing with here. That's what's making this drag out a little bit. Seven of Swords, and I'll tell you about that in one second. Eight of Cups. So basically in a nutshell, they about to get caught. Something's being taken away. Again, I take it and I, I give it and I take it away. The Most High is taking this back. I'm also hearing your time, your essence. So apparently somebody was messing around taking your energy. <sighs> These folks really got to find something to do. Don't they realize they're messing up themselves, their children, and regardless of what they do, it's still going to take place. Eight of Cups here, meaning they're they're being forced to walk away. I keep hearing somebody going to prison. It looks to me like all these folks is going. One big party. Maybe they can all hang out and have a sleepover together. I don't know. Sleep in your cell. I don't know. Cell party. I don't know. But they all going to get caught. It's either going to be one or two. You're going to be caught or gone. Uh, didn't I just say or gone? But either way, this is coming to an end. This is their future. Ah, I just heard a promising future, ain't it? Yeah, they're going to have to turn their back on this. They're being forced to turn their back. 
They're being forced to turn their back. Mm hmm It's interesting, I put this Ace of Pentacles over here. It's like I feel like an energy, I know they're gonna be like so mad, but who cares? I saw it almost like the most I saying, after these people are locked up, no, whatever they're going through right now, because they know they're going to prison. Somebody know, or they about to be out of here. And it's almost like I feel an energy of something, someone, whatever, from the ethers is like, do you still want this now? You think you still want this? Because I feel like the most I is trying to get them to cut it out. Surrender yourself. Asking them, is it still worth it? Now that you're locked up, you still, you're still going to be on the other side. You're still going to be, you, sorry. You're still going to be mad at me, huh? You're still going to be mad. You're still going to feel like you got all the answers. You're going to feel that life is unfair. Okay. You're going to be presented with that question. They already are being presented with that question, but somebody's being hella, as of today, they're still being very hella, uh, um, um, defenses, defensive and offended, childish, immature, and angry. Well, suit yourself. Suit yourself. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. The cycle's close, sweetheart. It's closing up on them. It could be in a matter of days for somebody. It's a matter of days. And I feel like somebody may know that, though. If they do energetic work for whoever this applies to, somebody knows. They know. That's why they're still going hard. Because they know this door is going to close. And they don't... I mean, I guess if I were like them too, I'd do the same thing. Because if my options are prison or be out of here permanently or, you know what I mean, and have a miserable life, then I guess I'd fight to the end too. I mean, what you got to lose at this point? I feel like that's what the attitude is. But the funny thing is, the ironic thing is, they've already lost a lot. And they're losing on a daily basis. But yet, they're still trying to come for somebody. <laughs> 27, 44 o'clock, it ain't working. It's not working. Well, you just got to learn the hard way, I guess. You know, some people just have to. They just don't, they don't know no better. Just don't know no better. Well, some of them know better. Somebody, yeah, the FBI is involved. A property or a home. Yep, somebody lost a property or a home. Prison. Am I going to prison? Somebody is extremely angry about this because, yeah, they're hidden secrets. This would land it sideways because the truth is out now. Their hidden secrets are out. You can't hide that. It's 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 a wrap. But some they just got to keep going, baby. They just got to. It's just like, they're like, we didn't come too far. We can't stop now. It's so sad because, you know, child, what about your bloodlines? Okay, there's a low vibrational Taurus involved. Sorry, hold on. Here we go. Britain. Yeah, this is the end. This is over. They can't accept it. We got New York involved, Florida. Somebody in the spotlight is involved. I also want to say I feel like somebody gonna be on the news in the spotlight because they're going to they're going to prison. It could be a group of them. I just felt that. X for assessment or initial. But you see her have nothing to worry about. If you ain't did nothing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Somebody Jewish could be tied into this as well. I'm not surprised. I'm I because yeah, there's some big players in here. But you know, I tired of them. It's time for them to go down. I just heard that they're tired of them. We got a Leo involved. We got an Aquarius involved. There's a permanent ending for both of them. So our Idaho's involved. Time is up. Time is up, darling. Overseas. Did things overseas. The most high is sending you signs. That's the second time I got that. I said at the beginning, there's a sign that's going to come to you in some type of way. 
about this or some type of hope about this. Somebody slim, slim is involved. We got a Capricorn and we got an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. The one thing I do want to leave you with is this cycle is coming to a close, right? Whether they want it to or not. You've got somebody here that's about to start singing like this little pelican over here because they see that you're not being treated fairly. You are being protected by your ancestors, angels, and guides. That's why this person is so burdened. Um, and um, again, we heard clearly the most I said, I give it and I take it away. So this is going to be taken away. Whatever was taken, oh, this gift here, this gift, this money, this, whatever this is, tangible item, whatever this is, it's a big deal though. And it's yours. It's yours. Um, it will come to an end. So keep doing what you do doing. Keep calling it in. Keep keeping yourself grounded, doing your spiritual baths or whatever your practices are. The best thing here, the best thing to do here is to stay calm, stay at peace, take up a new hobby, start reading a new book, find a new show to watch, find things that are going to elevate you, make you feel better, okay? Not worse, but better. Stay out in nature. Nature is beautiful. Get out in nature and vibe with nature. I do it all the time. All right, and if you can, if, you, if it's warm enough where you are, get outside with your shoes off and walk in the grass, go to the beach, walk in the sand, um, just connect and stay connected because that's the way I'm hearing clearly, you stay protected. I got somebody that's always rhyming. So stay, stay, stay protect, stay connected and you will stay protected. I like that. I'm about to use that. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you. Take care. If you want to find me again, hit the like button or subscription. Um, and again, I do reads every week on both channels. Any information, if you're new, you want to know about me, is in the description box below. If you want to say a comment and say hi, you're new, you just subscribe, let me know so I can say hi to you as well. Take care, darling. Bye-bye.